So thank you for coming out. I realize it's three o'clock, which is a, a slow time normally. Uh, the presentation is indeed on Blue Thunder. And uh, suffice it to say, we're extremely excited about Blue Thunder. And the main reason is that uh, obviously I am Gold and Vanstar, the joint venture partners on Nelligan, announced a 3.1 million ounce resource uh, just a few days ago. And you know, really, the first uh, significant drill holes were about a year ago. So to go from from quote unquote initial uh, drill uh, drill results to resource in a, in a, about a year is is remarkable. And in my personal opinion, um, is a testimony to the quality, the size, and the potential of Nelligan and of the area. So let's go through the slides right now. Um, my go-to joke uh, is that I have 150 slides. I'm just going to go through them really fast. I, I don't have 150 slides. I've only got a few slides. Uh, so, okay. So uh, let's go through. This is on our website, of course. Uh, the battery is kind of weak. Uh. We have another second one. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Let's keep got going. Got a second one. We got a second. We got a backup plan. There we go. That's that's how well prepared we are. We have a backup plan. Thank you. What's that? Yeah, well, okay, I guess I'm, okay, so uh, let's go right to the, uh, the, key, the key slide. Okay, so this is a diagram, a map, obviously, of the Shibugamu area, uh, and we acquired these claims about two and a half years ago because uh, the claims were located uh, in areas that had major structural um, intersections or structural significance. And by the way, I'm a mining engineer. Um, for me, geology is ore and waste. I'm, 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 I'm trying to be funny, but the point is, if you have more complicated geology questions, Ed Thoreau's, who's walking around, is the guy to talk to. Uh, but long story short, uh, we acquired or bought these claims because they're on major structural trends, uh, Bachelor Lake to Joman and Windfall to Shibugamu. So uh, we have uh, tripled our land position in the last year. Once we saw the first drill results from Nelligan, we were very, very aggressive. We now control 100% of 100,000 acres surrounding Nelligan. Okay. Um, this is a, a close up of our claims, and uh, Nelligan is the star uh, in more ways than one, but it shows, uh, and so you can see we've got several claim blocks. Uh, let's get to the geology. So uh, this geology is uh, a geophysical uh, simplif a simplification of the geophysics, and you can see that the uh, the major trends that are uh, defining that do define mineral mineralization in the area, not just Nelligan, but other deposits, uh, Monster Lake, uh, Joe Man, Philibert. Uh, there's lots of gold up there, and the gold uh, doesn't come from the sky. The gold comes from deep underground and it's allowed to percolate up to the surface because of the structures. Structure, 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 that's why we're there. And uh, we have 14 kilometers of the same structure that defines the Nelligan deposit. So 14 kilometers is a lot. Absolutely no guarantee that we're going to find an economic gold deposit or uh, an economic mineral deposit of any kind, of course. But given 14 kilometers of structure, I like our odds. Uh, Nelligan Maiden Resource, if you haven't seen it, it's 3. Point, I said 3.1, it's 3.2 million ounces at a gram. But what I like is there's about 2 million ounces at a, a, a little over 2 grams. Again, in my personal opinion, I've been doing this for 30 years, this initial resource, when it came out, indicated to me that Nelligan is going to be a mine. Now... Uh, I am Gold is also in a joint venture with Toma Gold just up north at Monster Lake. That's 400,000 ounces at 12 grams, maybe a little bit too small to be a standalone mine. This is just, again, my uh, personal opinion. But the point being is if you put Monster Lake and Nelligan together, it's going to be a very interesting operation. And the I am Gold press release, again, I am Gold Vanstar press release said that there's lots of exploration upside to the west. Uh, by the way, if you go to the Nelligan, uh, the Korshak, off to the east is the Granville. 
So the, there is very little, if, if, if no upside to the east, the upside is to the west and that's towards us. Uh, whoops, I went backwards. Uh, there are some high grades as well. Uh, we'll see if, if the high grades are of any significance. Uh, that's what the open pit look or will look like, or at least the mineralization. So that's Nelligan, uh, and we are a derivative of Nelligan. Uh, on our property, we have, uh, we initiated exploration in January of this year, so we're nine months into it. For the folks that are experienced in geology and running programs, nine months into a campaign is, is nothing. Uh, we're just getting started. We did some stripping. We did some geochemical work. We did a lot of geophysics. Um, I would say that we are in close discussion with the, uh, the folks that, uh, have made the discovery at Nelligan that are associated with Nelligan. Uh, I tip my hat to the I am gold people, the Van Star people. Uh, even the Northern Superior people, the Tomago people, the Kintavar people, uh, we seem, everybody in the area seems to have a very good relationship and we, we, we exchange data, which I was just talking to somebody at lunch today. That is unusual. Normally in mining, people don't say anything. Uh, but in this camp, I can tell you all the names I mentioned have executives and geologists that are willing to share ideas, including us. My view is all our data is online. We don't hide anything. Uh, and, uh, you know, the reality is, um, you know, I think it's going to require, um, in, in essence, crowdsourced, uh, exploration work, uh, to find gold. So we have three targets that are defined. Our goal is to drill in 2020, and it will likely be on those, um, uh, those three targets. Uh, this is old geophysics that is part of the public database that, we knew before we acquired our claims. There's some geochem as well that's interesting. It's again, it's in the in the presentation on our website. I won't go through it in much detail. Uh, more general geology. Uh, next steps uh, are there. It's more geoph. Nelligan, if if you're not familiar, uh, is um, uh, geophysics plays a very important part, or played a very important part in the discovery, uh, and and that's why we're 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 really focused on geophysics. We're going to do some. Um, uh, AI machine learning as well. We've got two groups that we're in discussions with right now and uh, we hope to sign a contract imminently on that. Um, and uh, the uh, just real quick corporate highlights. Um, we announced about a month ago, maybe a little over a month ago, a decision to go public uh, with a CPC called Platform 8. We had multiple proposals on the table. We chose to go with Platform 8 because uh, there, 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 there are lots of people that we know that are investors in their uh, institutions, high net worth people, um, a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, Haywood people that we know. And so we expect uh, buying um, uh, upon the, uh, the Go Public transaction. By the way, the Go Public transaction is expected to close at the end of November. Uh, we're still on track for that, fingers crossed. Uh, part of it is not in our control because it's the regulators have to approve 43 101s and things like that. But the point is, we're still on track to go public by the end of November, okay? And we, we like the platform eight people. In fact, Rick Pallone um, is joining our board. Rick was head of Haywood Institutional in Canada for a long time. Uh, Rick's a very wealthy guy, but he's also a high integrity guy. Very smart guy, nice guy. We, we're, we're thrilled to have uh, Rick join our board. So let's talk about the board a little bit. Uh, these are the operating folks. Um, you know, I've been doing this for 30 years. I started Red Cloud. I was also the CEO of Victoria Gold. I took Victoria Gold from a 20 million market cap to 550 million market cap uh, during 2007 to 2011. During the financial crisis, I raised $110 million. Uh, I was the top ranked mining analyst. I'm from McGill. I did my uh, engineering and MBA at McGill. Uh, Ed is in charge of exploration. Uh, Ed and I uh, worked together at Victoria Gold and at Red Cloud. Uh, a good geologist. Uh, Drew um, was a COO effectively of Detour Gold and a former classmate of mine at McGill. Uh, and Ryan is our brand new CFO. Um, Arv is uh, you. You won't. I, I'm. I, I'm obviously preaching uh, for the uh, for the uh, for my um, my company here, 
pour ma paroisse, comme on dit en québécois. Uh, but uh, you won't find a better board for a little company like us. So Arv is head of operations for Cadillac Fairview, the biggest real estate company in Canada. He's in charge of 3,000 people. Elaine Nellingham uh, was in charge of mining listings on the TSX for eight years. She's on the board of Alamos and a bunch of other companies. Elaine is unbelievably good board member to have. She's good on in geology good in corporate governance. Uh, Paulo Lostrito is the weak uh, part, and I'm kidding. Paulo is a, Paulo is a, is a, is a, uh, a very good partner of mine at Red Cloud. He was also a top-ranked mining analyst. He's a geologist. He worked as a mining analyst at National Bank. And uh, Phil Girard uh, is interesting. Phil is a local Montrealer. He works at Ticksmith, which is a, uh, if you haven't heard of Ticksmith, which I wouldn't be surprised, it's private. It's one of the fastest growing AI machine learning corporations in Canada right now, based right up the road. Uh, these guys are knocking it out of the park. And Phil is our local rep. Um, he's a great guy. Uh, this is his first mining company board, but he's our AI uh, new technology guy. Okay, so uh, Red Cloud owns 63%. Uh, we are being diluted all the time. We don't want to be 63%. Um, but, um, you know, uh, at the end of the day, uh, Uh, we will own less than 20% uh, as we continue issuing securities uh, either to Platform 8 as part of the Go Public or through uh, uh, fundraising. In fact, we are in a fundraising at the moment. Um, so you're not leaving the room until you give me money. We're going to lock the door. No, I'm kidding. I, I mean, it's a good idea, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, and so you can see that Bontero is a shareholder, Honey Badger, Plethora, which is an institution, And the board has a significant ownership as well, which I think you like to see. So that's the end of the presentation. We're in a good location. Uh, I think we have a good board. Uh, I hope you agree. And we're very, very aggressive in growing this little company. Okay? So I still have seven minutes. Uh, you don't have to ask seven minutes of questions. You don't even have to ask any questions. You're welcome to, uh, to call me, uh, email me, send me smoke signals, whatever you want. Uh, I do appreciate you sitting in this presentation and uh, learning a little bit more about Blue Thunder. Uh, any questions? Go ahead, sir. It's a, it's a very good question, and it's not something that we did uh, lightly. Uh, if, in case you didn't hear, why, why now and why did Red Cloud want to compete with its clients, which is obviously not something we want to do or be seen doing. What happened is, One of our mining clients was presented with this opportunity to buy these claims, and that mining client was unable to or unwilling to buy those claims. And um, I had a good feeling about Monster Lake. Uh, I am go. Excuse me. Um, well, Cisco was drilling windfall aggressively. Um, I've always had a very strong affinity for Shibugamu. Uh, the location is phenomenal. It's easy to get to. Uh, Quebec is mining friendly, of course. All of our claims are road accessible. Um, I said, why don't we do it? Um, we are here, and this is a very important comment, we are here for a good time, not a long time. Uh, Blue Thunder has been for sale from day one. These claims have been for sale from, from day one. We have had expressions of interest to acquire them. Uh, the price wasn't what I thought uh, it should be. Uh, we literally just got another expression of interest to buy them just a few days ago. It's still not the right price. I do have a price in mind. Um, I do believe time is a little bit on our side in the sense that I am gold and uh, the Vanstar are drilling aggressively. My personal belief, and I don't have proof, but again, this is my personal belief, is they're going to want to advance this project as quickly as they possibly can to a mine, and we're going to benefit from that. We're going to learn from that. We're going to get news from that. And so I think uh, there is still a little bit of meat on the bone, if I could use that cliche. But uh, I assure you, we are not in the, the business of acquiring claims. Uh, we have not acquired any other claims since then, nor do I want to acquire. This was just a, it just happened to be at the right place at the right time. I hope that answers your question. Any other questions? Yes, go ahead. Um, 
Yeah. I think I think this one is this one is probably the best one, right? Uh, so the scale is we are. It shows about ten kilometers there. Um, this is, as I said, this is fourteen. I know, I know for a fact that I measured it. This is fourteen kilometers. So this would be what five, six kilometers, something like that. It I mean, to to me, when I when I'm there, when I'm there, it doesn't seem that far. But when I say five, six kilometers, like I couldn't run that long, uh, and, and so maybe that's a little bit further than 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 it seems. Um, but uh, and and obviously to the south, we're a little bit further down. Now, the interesting thing about the south, uh, and I'm glad you brought it up. No, you didn't bring bring it up, but I'm bringing it up. If you go to the Nelligan booth. Uh, they show that the north-northeast structures are a very important mineralizing uh, factor. And I just learned that today, actually, moments ago, and I shared that with Sebastian. That's why we bought those claims, we, we staked those claims uh, to the south, because I had a gut feel, like, gold is still being found in established camps, right? In Nevada, Timmins, Valdor, and you know, the, the gold knows why it's there, but it takes a long time for humans to figure that out. And I had a gut feel, given the orientation of the lakes, that there was uh, there was something important about north, uh, north south, northeast, southwest structures, and it turns out to be true. And and that's why we have those claims down to the south. What those claims are worth, nobody knows. We're going to be working on them for the very first time ever uh, in the summer, and maybe we find something significant. Yep, another follow-up question, yeah. Uh, where do you feel we are in the mining Okay, um, so uh, again, because I've been doing this for a long time and I have certain credibility amongst certain people about calling markets. In fact, that's one of the reasons I was top ranked. Uh, my personal view is that we are about in the, you know, on a scale, like if, if it was a 10 chapter book, we're in chapter three or four. My personal view is that we've 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 tested the bottom a bunch of times. Ironically, we are today, literally today, tomorrow, at a very important uh, juncture because technically, gold and silver have pennant formations, very significant month-long, in some instances, year-long pennant formations. Uh, the volatility is reduced to almost nothing, and we are going to break out one way or the other. And we're going to have a huge move one way or the other. And it's going to be like in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I think it's going up. I think, uh, and the reason is the global financial system, notably the bond market with trillions of dollars of negative yielding bonds and, and, and Brexit. And it's going to start in, in, um, in, uh, in Europe. But there's going to be some sort of a financial issue that's going to really benefit gold and silver will probably follow. One of the guys that I really respect, he's not always right, unlike me, he's not always right. Um, his name's Martin Armstrong, he's an economist. He writes uh, stuff every day, it's free. Uh, and if you've got uh, a few hours to spare on the weekend, watch a two hour documentary about Martin Armstrong. It will blow your mind, it's called The Forecaster. Uh, the guy forecasted all kinds of things, and uh, he's calling for major, major moves. And it's going to be a, 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 a probably in, uh, starting in Italy. Italy, for example, and I'll just stop talking two seconds here. But Italy, for the first time ever, is issuing bonds in U.S. denominated uh, uh, bonds, and that is an indication that there's no demand for euro denominated bonds. And nobody picked up on, very few people picked up on that. Martin Armstrong did. And so, so something's going to happen. And I actually think, you know, really, really good things are going to happen in the gold uh, space. And, you know, assets like Blue Thunder are going to be more valuable. So I thank you very, very much for your time. I've run out of time to the second almost. Uh, and we do have another presentation, right? Yeah, Chad, just quickly, maybe you can just give uh, what, what's the price of the current, uh, current financing, uh, and I think you're doing flow through as well. Yeah, so uh, we are doing a financing at $3.50. Um, we have about 1.4 million shares, 1.3 million shares, so that gives us about a $5 million value. 
So at $3.50 per hard dollar unit, you get a share plus a half warrant for 18 months at four fifty, dollars right? Or you can buy one share at three fifty dollars flow through. And Sebastian in particular thinks it's much, much better value at three fifty dollars and flow through. Uh, and especially if you're in Quebec, you get like huge deductions for flow through, right? And we're only raising 500,000 and we're, um, thanks to Sebastian and others, we're very well uh, advanced on that. We will get another 600,000 when we close on the merger with the, with Platform 8, the CPC. Uh, and we have visibility to a lot more money once we're public, but we have to be very conscious of, of the dilution, of course. Thank you. Good. Thanks, Chad.